Welcome back, my fine foodie friends. It is another episode of Foodies and Friends on Fox 26. I am your host, Katie Stone. This is my lovely and incredible friend, John Moore. He is the owner and founder of Moderno Tacos. Let's go, baby. Right, One of my favorite you. places. This is my neighborhood. Also right next door to us in the same shopping center is Palazzo's West Chase. So you may, you know, see where we are, recognize the area. You may have even seen this guy behind the bar, but thank you for letting yes. us invade your space today. And yeah, you're welcome. Come after, on in. After the week we've had, we, uh, we yeah. need some food and margaritas. We do. We can all <laughs> deal with some tequila in our lives. How have y'all been doing, by the way? Uh, we've been doing great since yep. we got reopened uh, on Wednesday, but yep. you know, uh, when you have a walk-in full of perishables, it can be kind of a uh, tricky when the power goes out. I know everybody. It's like, what do you do? You have an entire garage full of meat. Yeah. How do you transport it? What do you do? What did you guys do? We rented a refrigerated truck. Uh, we put three restaurants full of uh, perishable foods in the back of the refrigerated truck. That was smart. <laughs> yeah. Very smart. I bet those were in high demand around that time. It's hard to find. We had to call around. Pulling some favors. All right. Well, yeah. thankfully, we're through the worst of it, hopefully. And yeah. we've got power. We've got AC. And y'all, we've got some darn good tacos. Big news, too. You guys are participating in Houston Restaurant Week for the very first time. High five. Good That's arm. Correct. High five. Let's yeah. go. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Palazzo's has been a long time participant. And now Moderno Tacos for the first time. And I think there's something special on the Houston Restaurant, Houston Restaurant Week menu. You're going to tell us all about it. It's a great value. Yeah, yeah. So, like you said, Palazzo's has done it uh, previous years. Now, Moderno is participating. Yeah. Um, at lunch, we're going to do uh, uh, taco plates. So some of those taco plates you'll see now will start out the lunch with uh, chili con queso or guacamole. Ooh. And we're also going to include a drink uh, on, the, on the lunch menu. And so dinner menu, because Moderno pricing is pretty low, uh, we're going to do dinners for two. So for the $39, oh, wow. you can come in and get dinner for two people during Houston Restaurant Week at uh, Moderna. Oh, my and goodness. We're still working on the menu because we had a hurricane and we're a little behind, but we'll have it up on the Houston Restaurant Week site here. In All Arizona. right. Well, let's go right on over to the foodie cam. You guys got the big news. It's dinner for two during Houston Restaurant Weeks for $39, you guys. That's incredible. Very incredible deal. Definitely not very many restaurants doing that. Um, all right, what are we looking at here, John? Okay, right here we have a Rosita's plate, which is one of our chicken tostadas. And we got a lot of romaine lettuce on there, black beans, chicken, cilantro, onions. It's more like a salad because it has so much lettuce and then a uh, cilantro ranch. It's coming with a chicken enchilada and guacamole. Uh, in the back is our watermelon margarita, frozen. Mm. Uh, we also have chicken tostadas by themselves if you want to order of just chicken tostadas. I, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Moderno. They see me here in all sorts of get-ups, yeah. you know, yeah. pajamas, Saturday morning, Friday morning. Yeah. You know, they, they, they don't even recognize me some of the times, too, which is quite interesting. But one of the things I, I really love here is I love being able to come here and order a dish like this. And my son and I are just happy to share yeah. off of these because the portions are so are so large. And that's a that's something that diners are looking for these days, right? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a big plate of food. We try to give you value here. And uh, like you said, we see you at breakfast here a lot. I don't know. I'm getting breakfast tacos. Yeah. So now y'all are going to do Houston Restaurant Week's menus for lunch and dinner. Yes. 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 And but you're also open for breakfast too. Uh, that's correct. Mm -hmm. We uh, open mm -hmm. at uh, six thirty during the week and seven thirty mm -hmm. on the weekends. Yeah. Uh, and uh, most of our breakfast is breakfast tacos. A lot of it's to go. People pick up food. You know, like twenty, thirty, a hundred breakfast tacos. Take to the office. Uh, we also have like huevos rancheros and migas and things of that nature. Yeah. I am one of those that comes in and, and will order a couple of pizza boxes of breakfast tacos. All right. Foodie cam. Next item on the foodie cam. Let's go. Okay. Those are banh mi tacos. Uh, banh mi tacos. Yeah. What is yeah. in your banh mi tacos, John? Uh, we have shredded pork. Uh, we have jalapenos, carrots, cucumbers, and cilantro and mint. Uh, coming with black beans and, and rice. Yes. 
and then your drink is your watermelon drink. That's yeah. a watermelon. All right, I'm going to taste yeah. that yeah. drink. Um, yeah. Now, these are items that can be found on your regular menu. Yes, your every range, day. Every day. Yeah. What are the What's the cost of these uh, items? I think this, the banh mi tartars, I think, are fourteen ninety five. Yeah. Um, I don't have the pricing right off my head. Yeah, no, I mean, I, yeah. I mean, just to give diners an idea of twelve ninety five to fifteen ninety five for most taco and enchilada plates. Yeah. Yeah. Combination plate might go up to 17. But it's a hefty plate. It's a lot of beans, it's a lot yeah. of rice, and you can easily convert this into a take home meal. Yes. Uh, absolutely. We do, do you, a ton of take out. Is that now, is that how do you design your dishes for diners to be able to take home? Is that a strategy or well, is that just. I'd like to tell you so, but it, it just happened. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, it works. All right. I'm, I got to go into this thing because this is, am I going to, is this very spicy? Am I? No. Okay. Well, the jalapeno on top is. So stay away. If, if you avoid that, it's not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you come up with these tacos? Because you have a whole wall of tacos and they're all different flavors. Yeah. And every single one of them is so good. How did you do that? Well, you know, we have both traditional tacos and then some fusion tacos. So this obviously is our take on the Vietnamese, you know, sandwich, banh mi. Uh, and we just we just took that, put, made it in tortilla, made it in taco form with flour tortillas. And there you go. You got it. Well, and Houston is certainly a very diverse, uh, diverse yeah. and, and, and very creative. And, and we like to to mix things up that haven't been mixed before. Yes. Um, and then this good yeah. popular item here. Yeah. Yeah. But once again, the, uh, the watermelon margarita. Or two more. Uh, <laughs> there were two more margaritas. Oh, there. I thought you were ordering, you were ordering two <laughs> more for the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so wait a few minutes, John. We got 14 minutes left in the show. Please. Okay. Okay. He he actually did make Waiter. himself a margarita. Waiter. We need margarita. Prior to the show, and we didn't realize that he said this margarita Daydream. is his, yeah. not for the show. Yeah. Um. Oh yes, this is very good. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. I think I've actually texted you before asking you if I could take this margarita home in in uh, an alternative vessel. Before. Yes, you can. We have that. <laughs> so you're allowed to do margaritas to go. We have uh single margaritas double margaritas we have quarts of margaritas and we have gallons of margaritas you can take quarts out. and gallons of margaritas yeah. all right foodie cam let's go this is my kind of place y'all you can just come in and get a gallon of margarita and you're happy yeah. and it's totally fine all right oh what are we looking at uh we have seared tuna uh street tacos mm. a little wasabi sauce of uh, some cucumbers and avocado and micro greens i can't believe yeah. this Menu is going to be dinner for two. Uh, yeah, it's going to be so great. Well, that's our pricing here, you know. Yeah. So yeah, you can get dinner for two for thirty nine dollars. Yeah, uh, during Houston Restaurant Week. I love that. So yeah. what's what's all inside this this dish? Uh, well, you have the the tuna tacos as mm -hmm. I just described, yep. and then we have uh, zucchini squash. Uh, that's our ratatouille mm -hmm. uh, on the side and some rice. We also have. Uh, Zucchini uh, cilantro rice for people who are doing no carbs that you can get also. That's very nice. Yep. Very conscientious. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of loyal diners here, I would yeah. assume, right? From from the neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. You do yeah. see a lot of people repeat. Yeah, both here and uh, at Palazzo's. Do you, uh, do you see the same people that go to both? Yes. Or you do? Yes. Yeah. 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 Or, well, you know, nice. Uh, people that'll come in, you know, once or twice every week, you know, particularly breakfast. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we have people are here two or three times in the same week. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. But you love that. Of course that's we do. Your, that's your bread and butter, right? Of course we do. And yeah. uh, and and I should mention too that your tacos are excellent, but you you offer them late in the day, right? The breakfast tacos. The breakfast tacos, yeah. Well, we used to during COVID. <laughs> But isn't it even on the weekends? Uh, on the weekends, yeah. Yes, on the weekends, yes. you can Saturday get it. and Sunday, you can get it till like three o'clock. Three o'clock or something, yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. the brisket, the breakfast brisket, egg and cheese, and you yeah. add a little onion and cilantro. Yeah, that's the best one. I like the Migas taco with shredded brisket in it. Yeah. And cheese. Yes. yes. All right. Foodie cam, another item on the foodie cam. This is my kind of day, y'all. Oh, oh here we taco. go. Talking okay. about the breakfast tacos. Yeah. yeah. So on one we have the uh, 
the brisket egg and cheese we just talked about. The other taco is the Migas taco that has your tomatoes, onions, jalapenos, and tortilla strips all mixed in with the eggs and cheese. What is the largest order of tacos that somebody has? I think we did about a thousand one time. Yeah. Yeah. And was that just somebody picking up the phone and saying, yo, I need a thousand tacos? Yeah, uh, we have large uh, companies, companies there's large yeah. uh, oil yeah. and gas companies, mm -hmm. and they'll just feed the whole company, you know. Yeah. And so, yeah, uh, 600, 800, up to a thousand. Pretty yeah. standard. But, yeah, I mean, you got to bring in people early, you know, take some coordination, but we make it happen. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm ready for some breakfast tacos. Uh, talk about this drink right here. Very okay. pretty drink. Okay. Well, we have a. Uh, I'm not sure. It, it uh, <laughs> hold on. Uh, we have a drink. We're gonna try, try that one. That's our Paloma. Sorry, peeps. Uh, that's our Paloma, which is gonna be blue agave tequila. It's gonna be uh, fresh squeezed lime juice. We have Topo Chico and then grapefruit, uh, fresh grapefruit juice on top. Wait, 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 wait. I had wait, to go wait, pick wait. that one up. Wait, I thought a you'd like it. wait a minute, John. Wait, wait. <laughs> okay this is outstanding yeah it's you know because it's not too sweet mm -hmm. and it's got a little kick yeah but it's very refreshing and it's very citrusy yeah and you could you could drink this for a long time so basically what that is is a ranch water everybody in texas knows what a ranch mm -hmm. water is now it's tequila and topo chico mm -hmm. so basically it's te tequila topo chico lime and fresh mm -hmm. grapefruit juice on top so it's a great fruit uh ranch water basically. that's my drink yeah. that's unless place if, if, if a place doesn't have that i'm going to ask them to make that from now on or just come to moderna just go to moderna yeah. yes we'll just... <laughs> <laughs> it, that works too okay yeah. all right i'm getting in here though because you why don't you go for the uh for the migas one okay you want to go for the all right i will I'll go for the migas one. yeah i'll go for the brisket <laughs> because you know all right. Cheers. 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 Breakfast. Breakfast. In the afternoon. Cheers to yeah. HRW. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's pretty good. <laughs> John, <laughs> stop. So hold on. Let me just talk about your tortillas. Homemade. Why are they so good? Because they're made right here every day in the back. That's not a good enough answer. No, um, they are. Outstanding. Just fresh, just made here, you know, some places you just store bought or somewhere else. But I mean, I don't know if you guys can see this, but they have kind of a shine. And I know that sounds a little weird, but just, you know, this shine I'm talking about, mm -hmm. this little kind of buttery shine that is very important for, for tortillas. It's a good batch. <laughs> I'm going, a good batch today. I'm going in. And, and the nice thing about it is they really bulk up these tacos so you you can very easily come in here and order one taco and you're totally fine I mean, yeah they're, i do that a lot they're pretty hefty yeah and price wise pretty good like four bucks so right. it's a good it's a good bargain and they have a fantastic coffee station here in the mornings cats's coffee cats's coffee yes and it's fantastic yeah. um and it's just very thoughtful get that little plug in for avi cats yeah <laughs> we, we love giving plugs to to locals um here in houston all right foodie cam Booty cam while I keep eating my brisket. Thank you. Oh, baby. Oh, these now are enchiladas. we're talking the real deal. Yeah, these are enchiladas. So we have a lot of traditional Tex Mex here at Moderno. Uh, in the in the front, it's going to be your typical cheese enchilada with chili gravy. Uh, on the back right is going to be our Terlingua enchilada which is a cheese enchilada, but it has uh, chili con carne on it. Mm -hmm. So it's basically like dumping a bowl of chili on top of a, of a enchilada, a cheese enchilada. And then to the left of that is our spinach and mushroom enchilada with a creamy poplano sauce. Sounds absolutely horrific, John. <laughs> and it looks amazing. I was kidding. Yeah. Um, these are one of the things I will mention is your beans are yeah. outstanding. Yeah, they really are. Your tortillas are outstanding. Um, I have a hard time finding anything bad here. Yeah, I'll just just put that on the record. Bacon's you know. make beans good. Yeah, yeah. We have beans. black beans that are vegetarian Ooh. for those who. Ooh. Oh, yeah. 
do you guys do you guys have a um a large vegetarian and gluten free following? Because it seems like a lot of what you do yes. would be very good for that. Yes, we do. Yeah. So uh, you can get most any plate with a side of cilantro rice and the ratatouille, the zucchini, mm -hmm. zucchini squash. If you're not doing carbs. Yeah. Uh, and you guys are pretty used to adjusting oh, yeah. for that. In the yeah. day and age, you have to. Yeah. Eat. So yeah. So we've got you know gut bombs and we've got gluten free whatever you're into. Your so I mean just everything the sauce everything is so good so everything is made here every day. Yes. Is there anything that is special that you can't make here and you've got to get it from that little bakery in East in Edo or something like that? Um. We, we get our corn tortillas from someone local. We do yeah. not make those. Yeah. Uh, every sauce, every you know, meat uh, is is made or cooked in house. Uh, for the most part, we get we get bread. Oh uh, my goodness! Yeah. Oh my goodness! Uh, oh, that's with our chili con carne. That's the terlingua enchilada. Mr. Moore. I mean, I've never had this before. It's good. That's a problem. It's very good. I mean, it's very good. Yeah. And it's got a little kick. What is that kick that I'm tasting? Uh, cumin and, mm. and roasted chilies. Um, Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. And then this one. Spinach and mushroom mm -hmm. yeah. with poblana cream sauce. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if anybody here is old enough to remember jalapenos on Kirby. Oh, yeah. Had spinach and chapatas oh, yeah. with cream sauce. Yeah. I was a waiter there. <laughs> Uh, and so this so that was kind of the inspiration oh uh, yeah. i love that yeah. now you're from houston yes yeah Born and raised. tell us a little bit about how you got into hospitality oh that's a good uh gosh how did i um well i don't know my my mom had seven kids so i like to say she catered for nine people every night so I kind of learned how to cook from my mom mm -hmm. uh and just you know started waiting tables working at restaurants and decided i wanted to open my own Learn from Didn't your mama. Really see myself as a sitting behind a desk, although now I sit behind a desk a lot. <laughs> Got to pay the bills. Yeah. All right, foodie cam, foodie cam. What's next? Margarita's next. That's for sure. Oh my goodness. Uh, puff queso. Oh we make my goodness. Classic. Uh, you gotta have it. You gotta do it right too. You gotta do the real puff. Okay, so uh, what is so what's the wrong way when they put it in a shell and they put it upside down shell and they put queso? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to bad mouth. <laughs> no, no, we, <laughs> no, John, we, we want to educate our diners here on Fox 26. This is because, the old school where you get the tortilla and you actually you puff it up to make a puff queso. Yeah, yeah, is it a little bit more labor intensive to do it the right way? Is that perhaps maybe a way a reason that shortcuts look at his finger? <laughs> Really? He doesn't want to talk. <laughs> really? John, you're on TV. Yeah. You gotta talk. No, actually, it's pretty easy once you know how to how to make them. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's how we do it. In the back is uh, our Jaime margarita, uh, which is our house margarita with uh, sangria. Uh, sangria we make in house. Uh, people who went to UT might remember Jaime's restaurant. Uh, okay. That was the inspiration. Oh, right? Inspiration for that. Our, our, I mean, our producer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's having some very good memories right now. <laughs> no, I love that. How you know some of your dishes are inspired by your early any family inspired dishes, possibly. Um, family inspired. Maybe not over here at Moderna. No, maybe at yeah. Palazzo. Palazzo. Yeah, I think I remember a, a mom or a grandma's recipe yeah. next door at Palazzo's. Yeah. We did, you guys may have seen, we did an episode of Foodies and Friends at Palazzo's, I'm gonna say about right. eight months ago during Houston Restaurant Weeks. And that was an incredible menu as well. Big portions. Yeah. I remember the chopped salad in particular, and I've come back multiple times for it. That's, um, it's one of our top sellers, the chopped salad. There you go. Yeah, that makes everybody sense. loves it. Yeah. I also love your side pickup door at Palazzo's, just in case anybody is interested. You don't have to walk through the restaurant, especially like when you're like me and you're in pajamas, yeah. you can just actually go into the side secret entrance and it has its own little parking area. Yeah. Um, and so you're talking about uh, Palazzo's West Chase, yes. which is a prior course of Bellway Yes, yeah. that's so where we are. you just drive right around the side and walk in the door. Mm. Hopefully we have food ready for you. Yeah. All right, so you've got one of your really popular dishes 
that we're going to put together in the kitchen. Oh, okay. And we're going to assemble it to show folks how easy it is. Okay. And it's one of your best sellers. Yeah. Yeah. It's on the menu. Yes. What's that? Well, so, you know, quesadilla tacos are, you know, kind of all the rage uh -huh. in Houston over the last year. So we have those traditional quesadilla tacos, or sometimes, sometimes people just call them Maria tacos, mm -hmm. which are made with brisket, uh, Monterey Jack, and then you put onions and cilantro in them. Uh, you dip them in like an au jus type of broth. Really? Uh, oh. And the tortillas, and then you make it sort of like a quesadilla. So that's mm -hmm. what he's doing right there. But so we do at Moderno, we do have the uh, traditional burrito tacos with the brisket, mm -hmm. uh, and they're a big seller for us. Mm -hmm. So what we did is uh, we just made another one, a different type with shredded chicken, uh, pepano peppers, and onions, Monterey Jack cheese, cilantro. Uh, Ooh, and so it. it's our chicken poblano queso burrito taco, mm -hmm. which is what you see I'm making on the on the video right there. How many of those bad boys you guys making every day? Uh, we're making a bunch. A lot. Yeah. yeah. We're making a bunch. Yeah. Between that and the brisket, uh, burrito taco. I mean, there's, it's, they're both very popular. So is this the process for every taco that you guys make? So like when I come in and I order a breakfast taco, brisket, eggs, and cheese, are they actually making it and assembling it right then and there? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Everything's made off a cart, you know, yeah. as I say, uh, yeah. you know, yeah, nothing's pre-made here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you you come in, you order it, we make it. Yeah. Well, no, it makes a big difference, you know, especially because you you have a lot of fixins, you know, and there's a nice big wall here of, of uh different kinds of tacos and different yeah. things you can put. And so there's little suggestions. Uh, because you can add like cilantro, onions, cheese, beans. There are a lot of a lot, of, lot of moving parts yeah. to Tex Max that you can kind of create your own custom dish. So I mean, if you look at all the all the items we have for like breakfast tacos, you could probably make like I don't know, 100, 200 different types of breakfast tacos. Different varieties, yeah. Yeah. Between. All right, foodie cam. We've got the uh, we've got these tacos here on the foodie. Oh no, what are we looking at? That's beautiful. That's what that okay. gets made. Oh. All right. So that's the chicken. That's the chicken poblana. Okay, yeah. gotta look closely. It is. Oh, yeah. Our readers. Um, yeah, so that's the shredded chicken, the roasted poblano peppers, and the onions in there with mm -hmm. the Monterey Jack cheese, mm -hmm. uh, and a, in a burrito taco form. Yeah, yeah, love that. It's really good. Now, John, you guys are, you know, we mentioned we're right here at Briar Forest and Beltway 8. There's a little shopping center right here. Palazzo's is at the end. There's um, a cute this little the beef. The beef, uh, yes. There's a cute little. Um, Another cute little restaurant here next door. There's there's a uh, like a bakery, and then there's a yeah. pool across the street. Um, but you guys stay pretty busy year round. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And you know, once again, we're breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So uh, you know, we we do stay busy. Uh, breakfast has really come on uh, in the last few years. Uh, breakfast. Yeah. 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 Breakfast taco. So popular. We sell a ton of that. And this is your little. That's the, like the yeah, au, jus, au jus, you know, the broth yeah. for the for the case of Bria. That's the brisket you're having there. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I do love these corn tacos. I forget. I mean, these, I mean, these are these are fantastic. Oh, mm -hmm. this. John, you can drink this. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. I guess it's kind of like a, a Mexican French dip. Oh, baby. <laughs> right. You could drink this. No, you could totally drink this. I would drink this. Um, any other foodie items? No, no we're, we're really no more yeah. foodie items. What's over there? Oh, we well, the chicken ones are somewhere around here. All right, yeah. so margarita, what you got here? There, we're gonna okay. toast. All right, we're gonna toast. Remember, guys, Houston Restaurant Week's menus are live on the website, HoustonRestaurantWeeks.com. First time participant, Moderno tacos, and it's dinner for two supporting the Houston Food Bank. I mean, you can't get much better, y'all. Y'all go out to eat, you have a fun time, and you're feeding people at the same time. We so appreciate your support.